H Rum was a group that was started by black and Puerto Rican hospital workers. I got a position as a community mental health worker at Lincoln Hospital in 1967. I was like a nice kid, but I was very strong politically, and everyone knew what my views were. I was the co-chair of the Health Revolutionary Unity Movement. Other hospitals in the Northern Bronx and other communities do have their new buildings. Lincoln Hospital still not getting what we need. I mean, we have 360,000 people in the South Bronx, and Lincoln Hospital cannot service those people. Not only involved in Atrium, I kind of quit my job at Lincoln Hospital. And I became a member of the Young Lords Party. Here's where Mickey shone, Cleo Silver shone, because they had already established a relationship with the revolutionary doctors in there. This was not something that just jumped off. This was over a long period of time of study, of work in the community, of going into the administrator's offices, of demonstrations. We did everything before the takeover. We had no tethers holding us back. The conditions are so bad, how can we not do it? Negotiations between the Young Lords and the hospital's administration are still underway. And more and more hospital workers are being attracted to the Young Lords program for hospital service improvement. Is your emergency room service adequate? Absolutely not. It could not possibly at be adequate in the physical plant that we have at Lincoln Hospital. We desperately need a new physical plant. And Sid Davidoff said, it's already being worked on. And I slammed my hat and said, it's not being worked on. That's why we're here. You guys taking your time. This is not politics as usual, man. We're doing this because we need to do it. I went to the pediatric ward and spent the day there giving care. I don't have any recollection that the young lords interfered with any of the medical activities. We recognize that sometimes to make radical or significant change, you have to do something dramatic. 